Now, for absolutely no reason other than to illustrate a topic, let's make it so you can tap on the screen to spin the asteroid around really quickly, 360 degrees. So to do this, we're gonna animate this drag here null, and we'll click the rotation dot to make a patch down here. And we need a screen tap. And every time the screen is tapped, we want to increase a counter. So a counter keeps track of a number. So every time it receives an input, it'll go up by one. And our maximum count, we want to be plenty big. So we'll make it 999,999. Or is that 9 million? Doesn't matter. And now we'll have a single number increasing by one each time. So to make this 360 degrees, we can multiply by 360. And we can't put it in directly here, but we need to pack it in there. And we wanna spin it around the Y axis, which is the up and down axis that spins around. So we'll change it from X to Y and then put it in. So now for simulating touch, you can see it's rotating 360 degrees and you can't see anything happen because it happens instantaneous and 360 degrees is the same as zero degrees. So what we're gonna do is take this value and smooth it out. So instead of jumping immediately, it takes a second to kind of ramp from one to the next value. And this will be an exponential smoothing patch. And it can only take a single number, so we need to do it before we pack these values together. Now let's see if this makes a difference. Looks like it works. Maybe it's a little fast. Let's try a damping of 500. There, now you can see it just does a nice quick little spin and then stops. We can increase it even to 2000 and have it be much slower. Like maybe 800. Yeah, that's a nice value. So we're taking a screen tap, which increases this counter by one each time. And then we multiply that single value by 360. So every one turns into a full 360 rotation. And then we smooth that out and pack it into the Y value and then add it to this null.